So today I thought I'd give you a quick look into my backyard in the middle of the night at this gray fox. What's it doing? Catching mice. This gray fox is a fantastic mouse hunter out here in this eastern meadow. And it does a very good job. In fact, it nabs three mice in less than a minute just in the field of view of this motion activated camera. That's pretty impressive hunting. And he hunts other things snakes, bugs, grasshoppers, opportunistic. The world is a buffet if you're a gray fox. They look distinctive too because coming up soon I'm going to show you what the red fox looks like in comparison. But there's a lot going on out here. Deer, coyotes, raccoons. They're all here. Look at this raccoon wandering through. This is the year of the raccoon. He smells something though so he's going to go up a tree. There he goes right up that maple tree. And here comes the gray fox back. Look at his tail posture. He's bothered. There's something on his feeding trail there. Now, one of the interesting facts about gray fox compared to red fox is that the gray fox could climb a tree. So if that was a mouse, he would go right up there. Red fox come through often, but I think they're primarily after the rabbits that we have around here. So just so you can kind of get a quick look at the posture of a red fox, here we go. They're pretty much the same size. There is a difference in tail length, but look at the shape of its head, especially when it's alert and it stands up to listen to the environment there. You see a distinction and it looks like their mouth is a little bigger, does not climb trees, and uh, is a wonderful hunter of also woodchucks, which I don't mind if they take those away because eat my sunflowers. Let's go to the bee yard. Look who's here, the raccoon. A big one. This is the first time I've ever had a raccoon visit the bee yard and she's probably got some baby raccoons out there in the woods. She's clambering around trying to figure out how to topple or cause some mischief with these beehives. Wait, don't you have alarms out there? Yeah, I do. And that's why that raccoon didn't stick around. Motion activated alarms at night. Keep things out of your bee yard. Thanks for watching a nature moment. I'm Frederick Dunn. Hope you have a fantastic week.